It is now 2023 and life is weird. <laughs> I'm 23 and I literally have no idea what I'm going to do with myself. And yet here I am filming a YouTube video. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this beautiful, beautiful day? Your girl Jazzy is doing good. And y'all new year new me jk new year same me different articles today's video we're going to be talking about different articles that i have set for 2023 and these articles you can use for yourself to one improve your art two to gain confidence in your art and three to produce art like never before one of the things that i've thought about recently was how can i produce the best that i can produce and the one of the biggest thing is to practice now practicing <sighs> honestly practice makes perfect and i need for everyone especially as artists to know that we're not going to improve we're not going to level up we're not going to be the best artists that we can be if we do not practice with our art you know tracing and all that especially if you're a beginner if you're a kid or whatever a lot of the time it takes time we're indecisive we don't know what we want to do and i just would like to say practice now we're on the topic of practicing goal number one is to sketch daily and to finish a sketchbook y'all one of my biggest problems is not sketching daily which counts as a lot of good practice especially if you sketch things that you see that are right in front of you in real life in real times sketching will definitely improve your art in that way and filling a sketchbook i have so many sketchbooks and they're not filled and that is a bad habit a bad thing of mine i honestly feel like it's a waste of paper too so the next our goal is is to practice anatomy you guys anatomy is so i wouldn't say hard but it is difficult for, don't get me wrong i have drawn anatomy i've drawn bodies plenty of times on this channel i've drawn full body pictures multiple times but when it comes to figures drawing like different sizes weights all that it's it, I don't have it down packed and I feel like practicing anatomy and knowing anatomy as well if you're looking for an art career will definitely help you in the long run because a lot of the times jobs are looking for like figures and poses and bodies and whatnot like anybody can draw a face anybody can draw the shoulders up but if you can draw a body especially hands <laughs> you're very valuable within this community don't you just love coffee now number three is to explore more mediums and I've done plenty of mediums on this channel from watercolors to acrylic to oil pastels but I want to try something different. There's a lot of different other mediums that I haven't tried. I usually stick to my markers and watercolors because those are definitely safe options um, but I also want to get a little bit more into gouache and actual acrylic. I never just do something just to do it i never just do random art just to have fun and that's one of my biggest goals when it comes to building and dabbling in other mediums so i'm definitely excited for that because i've looked up certain things on pinterest and i'm like i can do that i can do that and i know you can do it too so when it comes to other mediums think outside the box recycle things 
old paper, old homework you don't need anymore, just random stuff around the house, you know, or if you're just if you're just comfortable maybe with just digital, try traditional, try markers, pens and paints and whatnot. And yeah, your life will probably change if you go from digital to paper because it's totally, totally different. I haven't said anything about this because I've been thinking so long and so hard if I actually want to do this. And like, where do I want to take my life within the next five to ten years? And I think I want to teach art. And with that goal that I have like far, far away, the goal for right now is to work on bigger projects. That's my number four goal, to work on way bigger projects. And I'm so excited to show y'all this because a lot of this stuff is going to be going in a portfolio to get my bfa bachelor of fine arts in the education field because i think i'd be a great art teacher i mean just look at me i'd be a great art teacher would i not <laughs> yes yeah, so i want to work on way bigger projects and drawing in like art school versus home is completely different you have a lot more like prompts and things to think about this bristol board and you can see how big this thing is like it's freaking huge but yeah i want to do way bigger projects and have more fun with my projects because when it comes to school like art school you have like specific terms you have to like do and reach <laughs> but it actually turns out nice in the end i believe this one was texture and lines and working with black and white and micron pens y'all when i say i spent a lot of money on some damn micron pens and sharpies for these projects now one of the last and final goals which a lot of us artists really want to do we want to make our career we want to make money off this thing this hobby that we just love to do and that is to sell my art sell brushes and produce more content art is something i want to do i've clearly made that stated within my last goal if you know selling stuff online and doing all these other stuff does not work out i have some something to fall back on uh, when it comes to teaching art so yeah getting a bachelor's degree and all those stuff should be pretty interesting um but selling my art and brushes and all this other stuff is my ultimate goal ultimate business other than that i hope these ideas these goals that i've set in place for myself have helped you and will help you produce goals for yourself in order to improve your art level up on your art level up on your skills you know but with that being said i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye